Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, 5 Minute Science You Never Knew, where we get in touch with amazing European researchers talking about their work. So today we have Christine Graham, whose work is fixed on animal communication. So great to meet you, Christine. Hi, nice to meet you too. So tell us about your field, why you're interested in animals. Um, so first of all, human language is incredible, but other species communicate in some really cool ways as well from birds to whales to ants to non-human primates. Um, and so in comparative psychology, which is the field that I'm in, we study other species to better understand how communication evolves. For instance, abilities can evolve once and be shared by closely related species, or they can evolve multiple times in distantly related species. Some researchers study birds and primates, both of who combine calls into sequences to understand the pressures that led these abilities to evolve. Um, but I study great apes, so both human and non-human great apes, um, which are closely related species, to understand how their communication abilities overlap and how they differ, um, in part to understand how human language evolved. So how do great apes communicate? Do we have something in common regarding the communication compared to them? Yeah, so the great ape family includes humans um, and bonobos, chimpanzees, gorillas and orangutans. And we all communicate in a number of ways. Uh, we use facial expressions, vocalizations and gestures. And you'll have noticed already that I use a lot of gestures. Um, so human facial expressions include smiling, frowning, looking surprised. Um, human vocalizations include talking, laughing, screaming, and human gestures include waving, pointing, and nodding, um, among others. So those are just a few examples. And that kind of gives an idea for other great apes too. They have play and threat faces that they make. They scream and they hoot and they raise their arms and they fling their hands. Um, so they can use these different ways of communicating on their own or in combination together. Um, and I'm interested in all of their communication, but my research currently focuses on gestures. What kind of gestures do they use and how can you make sense of it? Uh, just say how you could understand it better. We define a gesture as a movement of the limbs, so like arms and legs, um, the head or the body, um, that isn't mechanically effective. So it doesn't physically move another individual to do something um, and they're used to communicate. So when I study gestures, I watch videos of thousands of instances of gesturing. It's a lot of video. Um, and I categorize them into gesture types. And that is gestures that look similar to one another, like an arm raise or a leg swing or an arm shake. And so categorized like this, chimpanzees and bonobos use around 70 types of gestures and they share about 90% of their repertoire or uh, vocabulary of gestures. Interesting. So what do they communicate about? Gestures are really good for one-on-one -on -one communication. Uh, so with vocalizations, if uh, when I'm vocalizing, lots of others can hear. But with gestures, they're only seen by a close partner or partners. Um, and so gestures are used in a lot of one-on-one -on -one social interactions. Bonobos and chimpanzees use them to request playing or grooming. That's like picking bugs and stuff out of each other's hair. They use them to tell another to move away or move closer or to ask for food. Um, lots of social go goals like this. So there are around 15 to 20 distinct meanings that the like 70 odd chimpanzee and bonobo gestures achieve. Actually, many of these gestures have shared meanings um, there's a lot of redundancy in the system um, and some of the gestures even have multiple meanings. It does sound a bit like human kinds, isn't it? And could we understand the other great apes uh, gestures? Yeah, well, we can definitely understand them in a scientific way um, by looking at how the individual chimpanzees and bonobos respond when someone gestures at them. Uh, but we also think that it's likely that humans can understand other great ape gestures in a more natural way. Uh, so young human infants use many of the same gestures that other great apes use um, before they start to learn language and a lot of the different cultural gestures that come along with that. Uh, we also think there's some evidence that adult humans can understand great ape gestures by watching them, um, but that's a very new research project that we're working on right now, so watch this space. Fascinating. Uh, maybe we have more in common than we realize. Thank you so much for your time today and thanks to the audience for watching us. 
And if you're interested in Christy's work, we'll include the link to her work below. So don't forget to subscribe and like our video. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye.